Business Continuity Planning, Areas to Examine To plan effectively for a pandemic, businesses must work closely with community planners and local public health departments to establish flexible contingency plans before a pandemic occurs. For businesses that are part of the nation's critical infrastructure or key resources, coordinating with community planners integrates the business's continuity plans with local and state planning strategies, ensuring timely access to resources and up-to-date information. When developing an infectious disease preparedness and response plan, a number of factors must be considered. Personnel Identify essential business operations and train backups for these positions. Equipment Identify essential equipment and the need for new or backup equipment. Availability of assets Assess the ability to access systems and resources from homes or remote locations. Ensure access to facilities, utilities, raw materials, machinery, replacement parts, computers and communication equipment. Business Commitments Determine the possible legal implications of the business's inability to abide by contracts or other business arrangements. Chain of Command In case certain personnel are unavailable, Ensure that everyone knows who is next in line to step in for that position. Alternates must be adequately trained to execute their roles in the plan. Accounting Ensure a continuity of payroll and accounting systems. Emergency contacts Maintain an up-to-date list of contacts for employees and customers that can be used in case of an emergency. Now that it is clear what areas of a business need careful consideration while developing an infectious disease preparedness and response plan, the next step is to prioritize work operations and assets for this plan. Once the business essential personnel, operations, processes, and equipment are identified, the employer must next anticipate how pandemic events may affect these essential personnel and processes. The priorities that are decided upon will determine how detailed or wide-ranging the plan will be. There may be some areas of the business which must remain fully functional with a backup system in place. In contrast, other areas may have to be temporarily shut down. It is also important to remember that during a pandemic the community that businesses rely upon will also be in crisis. Therefore, businesses must plan for maintaining essential business operations with higher rates of employee absenteeism, minimal availability of outside resources, such as temporary labor and contractors, as a backup, and supply chain disruptions.